Hello Beamer Tech crew and thank you for clicking on this video. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a 6WB digital instrument cluster. Stay tuned. In today's video, we're going to show you how to upgrade a standard analog instrument cluster to a nicer digital instrument cluster in an F15 BMW X5. It's a great step up from the standard cluster, it completely transforms the look and feel of your interior. This kind of cluster is also called a 6WB. The installation process will be exactly the same for an X6 as they have roughly the same interior. If you're interested in ordering a cluster like this, make sure to check out the link in the description and get in touch with us. And getting right into it, these are the list of tools that you're going to need. I definitely recommend grabbing a Beamer Tech trim removal tool as it does a wonderful job against marring up your surfaces. To get things rolling here, we're going to want to move the steering wheel forward and down as much as possible to give us room to work. And before we get started on working on any electrical components, we're going to need to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery and make sure that your vehicle does not have a backup battery. To access the battery, we'll have to remove this cover. This storage bin has five 8mm screws that we'll have to remove. Let's go ahead and remove them with this 8mm socket. And a shout out to CJ here at Beamer Tech for letting us use his vehicle for this tutorial. The screws removed, the bin should pull right up. This is where the negative terminal on the battery is located. Now let's go ahead and grab a 10 millimeter deep socket to loosen up the terminal. Once it's loose, wiggle it out and set it aside. And once that is set and done, we're going to begin by removing this trim that's around the existing analog cluster. Let's start with our trim tool. We'll start prying this piece in this area. Carefully apply pressure and then rock it back and forth until the piece comes loose. And there we go. Moving right along to this side, we'll do the same thing. Applying pressure, wiggling back and forth so it can come loose. At this point, it should slide out easily. Taking a look just above the cluster, the second to last vents on either end are going to be the place where we're going to insert our tools to pry the clips in place that's holding the analog cluster. At this point, you can use a precision pick tool if you have one available. In this case, I've seen an excellent approach where people actually take a very thin screwdriver, wrap some e-tape around it to grip the clip. You should only need one or two wraps of e-tape at best. And let's do it to a second one. The reason why we need two is because our two clips will have to loosen at the same time. Again, wrap it one or two times and you'll be good. Now, like I showed you before, we're gonna go into the second to last fence on either end. You slide it in place. Just pull towards you and down in the same motion. And as you can see, this is where a precision pick tool would be best. But I'm showing you because not everyone has one available. With the clips detached, I'll show you exactly the motion that you'll have to perform in order to get the clips loose. You can see here it's pretty easy. Slide it in place, pull towards you, and down in the same motion. And it'll come right out. 
Moving along, let's reposition the cluster in a way where we can access the wire harness in behind. Simply lift up and towards you. So now on your left side, we'll start with the heads up display jumper cable. There's a clip here, so you have to press it in and pull out. There you go. And keep in mind, we want to make sure there's a microfiber cloth in place as not to scratch up the screen. Moving over to the right side, you can see this is where the main harness for the cluster is plugging in. And similar to the heads up display jumper, there is a clip you have to press in in order to pull the plug out. There you go. In certain applications, you gotta double check and make sure that there's a fiber optic cable that's gonna be in place in order for the new digital cluster to work properly. Don't forget to refer to the PDF instructions that we always provide you whenever you make a purchase with BeamerTag. With both cables disconnected, now the analog cluster is free to move. It should simply slide out of place. There we have it. At this point, let's double check the connections to make sure there's no dirt, dust, or debris in the way especially with fiber optic cables as they emit light in order to pass the data. With dirt and debris, it would not allow the data to pass properly. So in reverse order, let's grab the new digital cluster and slide it in place. Carefully rest it on the microfiber cloth. And we'll begin with the jumper that goes to the heads of display. Make sure it's sitting properly, push it in until you hear a click. There we go. Back again over to the right side. We just gotta take the main wiring harness with the clip facing towards the front bumper, seat it properly, push it in until you hear a click. Here you can see the ridges that need to go in first before you can lift the cluster in place. Just seat them in like this. You know it's done right when it's level with the trim of the car. Now the easy part. Just raise it up allowing the metal clips to snap into place. Then grab your trim, paying attention to the mounting holes. Apply some pressure carefully, and you'll hear the trim snap back into place. Gradually making your way around the edges of the trim, seeing that it's sitting flush. Let's go ahead and reconnect that battery, so we can give this cluster a try. Once the instrument cluster is installed, it is crucial to follow up with a remote coating session, because immediately after the installation, the cluster will not work correctly until it is coated. A remote coating session is included with the price of the retrofit, so make sure to schedule a session with our tech to complete the coating right after the installation of the 6WB. You can check out the link in the description for more details about the process. With the coating completed, we can now take a look at the cluster. With this new digital cluster, the different driving modes are now a greater experience. It gives the interior of your vehicle a more updated look, So let's navigate around town with this X5 to see what it's like. And that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to connect with us, look us up on social media. And be sure to check out the links in the description to see more from our blogs. It's a good way to stay posted on deals we have coming up and stay up to date on what we're working on. 
And if you'd like us to help you or your local in Orlando, come down and pay us a visit or go on our website and find the nearest certified Beamer Tech installation specialist near you. And more from us here at Beamer Tech where we can help you get your BMW perfected. Once again, guys, my name is Chaz. Thank you for watching this video. If you got any questions, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to see the latest videos from here at the shop. See you next time.